Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, Blake from Speed Tech Performance back again today with another uh, another product uh, introduction. 850 horsepower T56 Bowler uh, Carbon Edition transmission. Um, it's going to be a fun car. So with this package and the design uh, that we came up with and the packaging and you know all the criteria that we needed, Ultima Headers is, uh, has built a three quarter length set of Hemi headers for us. The exhaust is, you know, we've designed the floor and the frame to tuck the exhaust up inside so there's nothing hanging down. We've left room under the, under the rear seats for, for the mufflers. The tailpipes on on our IRS go underneath the uh, underneath the diff. The rear billet uh, mount for the lower control arm has cutouts that will allow uh, three-inch round or three-inch oval exhaust to pass underneath the rear end. And then at that point, we've seen guys put it up and out the side like you would a, a standard tailpipe. We've done a couple that come out underneath the fuel tank and, and center exit with some diffusers that are custom built. So there's a lot of options on the, the exhaust. The floor, lots of chassis manufacturers have chassis. No manufacturers that I know of supply a floor. Because we build the cars, and have been building them for years, there's just things that need to be done. So we spent the time, about three weeks, uh, designing a sheet metal floor kit for this car that fits the T56, that fits the big automatic, that fits the factory seats, that fits the, you know, that's got the mounts for the factory seat belts. And it all fits. It, works around the exhaust it fits the IRS it fits the it fits everything and it's about a in between prep and welding and all that you're probably three days to install the floor think about how much time and effort and money that saves the customer at the end of the day um, so just another thing another thing that we've we've decided to do um, I think from now on, all of our full chassis kits will come with floor kits. Um, obviously, they're optional. Uh, they're an additional cost, but the money and time that it's going to save the project is going to be immense. So just another thing that we've, we've, we've done. We try to, do, try to think of all of it. Um, Pass-throughs for the brake lines, pass-throughs for the fuel lines, where to mount the e-brake the e cable or to the e-stop. The e um, just really try to cover a lot of the bases so that you know there's there's very little head scratching when you're actually building the car and hopefully that uh, that really uh, that's that's a, a good good feature that we've come up with the other thing that we uh, that we've done with this with this setup because we want to keep the factory core support we don't want to have to replace the factory core support all the mounting for the grill all the mounting for the headlights so we keep the factory core support the way the frame subframe combination is installed is we use the front k member mounting bolt holes as a locator we cut the frame rails out um, and the the upper control arm mount sits up in that space but then what do you do so we also have a sheet metal inner fender well kit that fits around the control arms fits up to the from the firewall to the core support, and it'll 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 butt into the factory um, inner apron mount fender mount. Because we've had comments about guys wanting to keep the factory Dodge serial number tag, we designed the inner fender wells around that around that little tag. The other thing we have is the down tube kit, which helps to stabilize the front suspension, stop any flex, obviously. Uh, it mounts to the upper control arm location and then it mounts to the firewall. These pieces are, they come long so that you can, you can sort of adjust once you've adjusted the wheelbase to the, 
place that you want it now, you can build the down tube to fit. Um, bolts to the firewall, bolts to the subframe. So again, uh, removable even after the fact, uh, allows you to remove the subframe if you want. One of the other things with this uh, red eye motor that's got such a huge blower on it, and it's just it's just a over overall big engine. Um, there's a couple of components that need to be used. The Holly uh, Holly makes a low profile rear intercooler uh, piping kit that needs to be used just for firewall clearance. Um, the ultimate headers obviously need to be used. Um, on the on the standard transmission cars you need to move the starter from the passenger side over to the driver's side just because uh, the motor is set so far to the passenger side to fit the tunnel. Um, Bowler Transmissions has a quick times bell housing and starter kit that works, uh, that, does, that accomplishes that. Um, with this, the way we designed it, you can still reuse the factory uh, wiper motor. The down tubes obviously attach to the firewall um, so that's a pretty easy setup and and that's sort of just another level of the stuff that we've thought of on this whole package so we really try to cover all the bases we're not trying to build the whole car but we're tr trying to provide a good complete foundation with a lot of the issues that we think you're going to run into are covered off things like the wiper motor, the exhaust, the floor, the wheel fitment, the, 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 just the, all the things, the bumper mounts, the, just the things that you're gonna run into. We might not have all the answers, but we try to cover off an awful lot of them. This car uh, is scheduled to be finished uh, pretty soon. The idea is to now get it back to Florida. Tom's gonna jump right on it. And hopefully uh, by the end of the year, the car's driving and we can get some, uh, some customer feedback on, on that part of it. But I think with this engine combination, transmission, the IRS, the JRI shocks, it's gonna be an unbelievable car. And as popular as these cars have become in the last few years. We're really looking forward to getting a bunch of them out there and getting a whole bunch of feedback on them. So one other thing I wanna add about this charger platform is that obviously the IRS full chassis is a big commitment. It's cutting the floor, it's replacing the floor, it's, it's upper, upper end as far as price goes, obviously. We do have another option, which is our torque arm, which has been 15, 18 years on the market now. Um, it's the same setup that we use in the Camaros, in the, you know, all the chassis have the torque arm. We have a torque arm kit for the Charger, which is a fairly simple weld-in upper cross member, uh, new rear end, bolt-in trailing arms and a panhard bar. Um, it's honestly uh, in your garage, two day install type of a rear suspension. Couple that with the front extreme subframe, which is a little bit more involved in the charger install or any other subframe or suspension components that you've got, uh, the torque arm will work with. So just another, another uh, set of uh, you know, products that we've, that we've got for this car for someone that doesn't want to spend all the money and, and do all the labor. Um, so yeah, check it out. It's on the website, www.speedtechperformance.com. Check out the YouTube channel, subscribe, like, all those things uh, that, that you're supposed to do. And uh, we will see you again.